Flash back to 2014 and load up Football Manager. Deli Alley is still at MK Dons. In fact, no he's not. He's in the MK Dons under 18 side. The young Englishman's rise to stardom has been quite epic. From League One hot prospect to Premier League and national team star. All in the space of a few years. The big question we're asking is whether a similar fate was mapped out for young Ali on the game. Cue a few long nights running simulations and Top Corner Gaming gives you this. Deli Alley now, according to Football Manager 2014. If we rewind back to 2K12, you know, when the world was supposed to end. Now that was a great movie. Anyway, Ali was busy making his senior debut. By 2014, and when Ali was just 17 years old, albeit by one month, but still 17, yeah, he bagged his first senior hat trick. It was in this 2013 14 season where the scouts flocked to Stadium MK in their waves. Basically, by February 2015, and Tottenham had grabbed first dibs. Ali stayed with the Dons for the remainder of the season on loan before linking up with Pochettino and Co. So let's check him out there. Deli Ali, 17 years old yet to score that hat-trick, yet to be an unearthed gem, and yet to join Tottenham. As you can see, his stats are reasonably promising. Listen carefully though, reasonably, but that's about it. Ali already has 13 for passing and 12 flair, very good for a scrawny teen. His physical stats are well beyond the rest of his current age group, and he can be compared to having a future that could scale anywhere between Jack Rodwell to Luka Modric. Now for the fun bit, simulation. Join us in about mm, three seconds where we would have simulated to today's day. Where is Deli Ali? How good has he become? Well, that was easy. Here you can see Ali is in fact at Crystal Palace playing in the championship and his stats, meh, they're nothing special at all. I mean, there is evidence of development, but the now 21 year old still only has the attributes to be considered a good to average League One player, championship at best. His weakest points, composure, decisions, and the mental side of his game, that has reached double figures, but it's far from the elite level Champions League mindset that we associate with the youngster. Why have we not seen the same development then? Well, we put it down to two things. The first being game time. Right now, in Ali's real life career, and the youngster has played around 75 League One games and 83 Premier League appearances. On the game, he's played just one game in England's top tier, instead boasting more like 100 games in League One, plus all but 34 appearances in the Championship. Even as a total, that means less game time and at a significantly lower level. The transfer to a Premier League club was forecasted as you can see. Crystal Palace snap up Delhi in the same 2013-14 season. But instead of being loaned back to MK like in real life, he was just part of the Palace training camp. Another face for the bench if you will. And he ended up playing just one Premier League game as the Eagles were relegated. I mean, come on, you're not going to play an untested 18 year old when your team is fending off relegation, right? That move to Tottenham was so much smarter. But even over the next two seasons, and Ali struggled to get into the starting lineup. In fact, in three and a bit seasons, he started just one game in the championship, the rest coming from the bench. Then, at 20 years old, he was sent back on loan to League One, this time with Sheffield United. I mean, he was excellent, a few assists and eight goals too. But if we take a moment to digest that, the 2016-17 season, well, in reality, that's when he was scoring 18 goals in the Premier League. That's a stark contrast. The second factor that can't be overshadowed in Ali's development is his manager, Pochettino. The development of both Delhi and a huge number of the youth players at White Hart Lane falls in line with Pochettino's outstanding youth coaching and reputation as one of the best managers in the world right now. On the game, and Ali did not have that luxury. He joined as Ian Holloway was on his way out of the club. Martin O'Neill, he came and left within a season as Palace were relegated from the Premier League and now, Dougie Freeman is the main man in charge. Our scouts have reported that Ali still has the potential to develop into a leading championship player, but simply put, at least for the time being, it looks like he has missed that small crack of a Premier League window that is only ever narrowly open to young English players. Slow and gradual development obviously suits most players, but for those like Deli Ali, they just need to be chucked into the deep end and from there they will adapt. Problem is, few clubs and managers are skilled enough to make this call. Hell, they're not even willing to take that risk. That does it for HITC Top Corner Gaming. We'd love to hear from you in the comments, so please, please tell us about any clubs or players you'd like us to simulate from past to present. I've been Liam Curtis. Like and subscribe, Top Corner Gaming.